You began watching from afar, but you're now in Abidjan watching the Nations Cup plus your nation, Nigeria, also in the semifinals. How best have you seen this Nations Cup in La Côte d'Ivoire? Um, I, I think that the fact that my country has reached the semifinal basically describes the how interesting this tournament has been. Mm. I mean, a lot of Nigerians didn't give Nigeria a chance. Yeah. And that you might not know, but going by the result our team churned out before the AFCON, um, Nigerians didn't have that confidence in the team. But here we are, Nigeria has become the tournament team to beat with five games, um, only one goal conceded. You have to give it to the Super Eagles of Nigeria. And that basically underscores the level of intrigue, surprise, drama that this tournament has thrown up. Look at Ivory Coast mm. from the brink of an ignominious exit to almost playing in the final. That also describes how beautiful this tournament has been. It's been one of the most exciting, the most drama filled, the most intrigue filled AFCON in recent times. I don't know for people like Yoan Pofo Ankara who are seeing more AFCONs. Absolutely. As far as I'm concerned, <laughs> this will go, you know, go all the way to become one of the best AFCONs I have seen personally. Absolutely mind blowing. One for the Oscars, so to say. Oh, one for the Oscars. Let's focus a bit now on Nigeria then, Uma. You are a Nigerian, obviously. You've been close to most of the Nigerian players who are in this squad for the Super Green Eagles of Nigeria. Like you said, before the tournament, little faith in the team to advance this far. But they've proven against all odds and have gotten this far. What do you think has been the key that has seen the Nigerian team come this far in this tournament? Okay, I think that it's, 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 it's a case of a lot of things. One would also be that they've responded to critics. I think the Nigerian spirit showed up. And that spirit mm. is one that likes to prove critics wrong. Okay. Even as an individual, this is the way I operate. If you, if you write me off, I somehow, some way, just bring out the best in me just to prove you wrong. Mm. I think that this is one of the factors. Another thing is that the coach, Jose Peserio, has learned on the job. When I mean learned on the job, he has understood his team better in the course of the tournament. Um, look at how Nigeria coming into the tournament was regarded as a team with the most formidable front line because mm. we, we came with players like Osi, man, Lukman, Paul Onuachu, Sodikuma, Victor Boniface. Of course, Boniface, Sodikuma got injured. Mm -hmm. And when the tournament began, things changed. Nigerians began to see that this team has got a solid defense that rather than a, a, a brilliant attack. Mm. And the coach, I think, I've come to understand that the strength of the team is the defensive organization. You know, how they calibrate from 3-4-3 three, three when they are attacking to, um, to, to five at the back when they are not on the ball. Mm. I like the tactical um, transformation of the team. And I think that's also something, you know, that has been key in the progress of this team in the course of this tournament. And I must be honest, I think that the coach also has surprised himself because going into this tournament, confidence was low on the coach, on the players. Even the coach said to me in Portugal after Nigeria's last Sunday game that he wasn't happy. Mm. And look at us here. Mm. One of the happiest coaches of the tournament, team playing very well, considering just a goal and scoring, you know, goals in every game. So I think that the key thing has been learning on the job, understanding themselves better, and of course, responding to critics. Victor Simon said, we do the talking on the pitch. Let others talk. We do it on the pitch.